Are you ready to write a winning offer? Hey guys, look, buying a home doesn't have to be an overwhelming experience. We want this experience to be a memorable one for you. So are you ready? Are you ready? All right, I'm Lori Woodruff, real estate professional in the Maryland and DC area. And I've got seven great tips that may help you when you're out there looking for your next home. All right, you ready? Let's go. Seven, first, first tip that you wanna do is you want to already expect that you won this house. Yeah, you might be having deep fear and doubt. Mm -mm. You have to already know we got this house. We are cooking in this kitchen. We are entertaining in the backyard. Just keep your mind focused on the end result. Number two is trust your realtor. Your realtor knows what they're doing. You've got to be able to trust them. You got to be able to rely on their expertise, their professionalism, and they'll make sure that you are getting the right numbers presented so that you can make your best, your best offer. Number three, number three is ask for less. Most people say, say less. Mm -mm, you got to ask for less. And that simply means Closing cost is one thing that you can really ask less of so that the seller knows that you're serious and doesn't have to reach too far in their pockets to give it to you. Remember, it's not the seller's requirement to give you closing costs. So if you can ask your lender for down payment assistance, if you can get anything necessary from family, friends, gifts, your own monies, 401ks, your money, you pull it together, ask for less because your offer will definitely be presented in a much better light when you're not asking for a lot of closing costs. Number four, four, ask for less. That rolls right into submit for hire. If list price is $400,000, $200,000, talk to your realtor. You might need to submit at least that or higher. Depending on the days on the market, the condition of the home, yes, you may need to submit higher than the actual list price. Remember, the appraisal is always gonna be your backup, so you're not gonna be overpaying for your house. Don't worry about what they say. Don't worry about what your cousin says as far as trying to submit $50,000 lower. Don't do that, don't do that. You wanna win this. My personal favorite, number five, is submitting a letter along with your offer. The letter simply states, any emotional attachments that you might have had while touring the home and you want the seller to know, I'm serious, I love your home. I love the backyard. I can see my children playing in the backyard. I actually have a garden and I could see myself planting my garden there. I could see myself uh, taking care of the home as you and your family did. I could see how your children grew up in the home and that's exactly what I want from my children. So when you write that letter, you're touching the heartstrings now of the owner of the property. Don't forget, that is most important. And number six, number six is increase your earnest money deposit. Now, if you're truly serious about buying this home, I mean, really serious, you are not going to give $500 or $1,000 on this deposit. You want to show the seller of that home, I am so serious. I'm going to do everything possible to make this house my home. So increase your deposit, at least 1% of the sales price. But if you can do more, do more. All right, and the last tip, number seven. Number seven is close quickly. Yes, if you can close 30 days or if your lender is able to do it any sooner than that, guys, the seller will appreciate that. You get to your keys much quicker, the seller gets their money, and everybody is happy. Now, if you need some more tips on real estate, business building, coaching, come on over to LoriWoodruff.com and even check me out and follow me on YouTube.